Hi, this is Jeff with Armadillo Pepper, the hot sauce, barbecue sauce, jerky, and fiery snack store. Today we're doing something really special. We're going to smoke a bison or a buffalo roast. This is a chuck roast. There's a wild game butcher here in Jacksonville, so you're able to go down there and he will cut you a chuck roast the size you want. So the one I have today is about three pounds. Now, um, as most of you know, bison is much leaner than beef. So we need to take a couple of steps here to make sure that it stays nice and moist while we're smoking it. So the first thing we're gonna do, uh, which we've been doing uh, for the last 36 hours, is we brine the buffalo roast. Now what I did for my brine was put about a gallon, uh, maybe it was a gallon and a half of water. I chose to put two dark beers. Um, you don't have to use beer. You can keep the brine quite simple. But uh, I'm, actually I've made some of these and I put two dark beers in it for flavor. And then you are gonna you want about um, a half a cup of brown sugar. And then you want about a cup of kosher salt. Uh, and then we let that guy uh, marinate or brine uh, for 36 hours. I would recommend you at least do it for 24 hours. Um, so that is the very first step to keep this uh, buffalo roast moist while we're smoking it. Now you can see here I've already removed it from the brine and it's actually taken on a little bit darker color and that's from uh, the dark beer that we had in the uh, brine mix. Now one other thing I did this time uh, in the brine mix is I also mix this, the rub that I'm going to use on this uh, roast, and that is this Black Ops brisket rub. These guys have won numerous barbecue competitions, so we're really excited to use this one today. Now the reason we put it in the brine was so that as the uh, salt in the brine helps pull the juice into the roast, that it would also pull the flavor of this brisket rub inside the roast. So that was step one. The next thing we're going to do is now cover the outside of this roast in the brisket rub. And then the third step, before we put it into the smoker, I'm actually going to wrap this roast in bacon. That's right, bacon. Bacon makes everything better, right? Um, two reasons for that. One, yes, we will get some flavor. But again, if I wrap it in bacon, during the smoking process, the fat from the bacon will continue to render over the roast and help keep that roast moist. Now we're going to wrap this bison roast in bacon. All right, our bison roast is all wrapped in bacon. It's ready to go into the smoker. I've heated the smoker to 235 degrees. You don't want a long smoke for this. There's not a lot of fat, so you, you don't want to spend all this money on a bison roast and then end up with a tough roast. So we're going to smoke it at 235 degrees. I'm using mesquite wood, and we're going to remove this guy when it gets around two, I'm sorry, when it gets around 130 to 135 degrees. That'll be around medium rare. If folks in your family, you know, if you're like mine, my kids won't eat medium rare, but I like medium rare, you can take it out when it's medium rare, and then you can always slice some pieces off, put them on the grill to make them a little bit more done. Alright, we just put our roast in. You can see we've got a good smoke going. And like I said, we'll keep a close eye on the temperature. I'll probably check on it about midway through to see if it looks like it needs to be uh, maybe a spray with some orange juice or something to help keep it moist, but I'm kind of hoping that that bacon will take care of that for us. It's been two hours. I want to check the temperature. All right, it's right at the two hour mark. We've taken the uh, buffalo 
a roast out of the smoker, and we're going to slice this guy up. All right, we're going to try this guy. You can just see uh, the moisture in this roast. It is not dry at all. What an awesome flavor. Again, a um, couple of tricks here to keep your bison roast moist when you smoke it. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's a very lean meat. You want to brine it at least 24 hours. We brined this for 36. And then I wrapped it in bacon. And then the bacon fat during the smoking process helps keep that roast moist. So again, my name is Jeff with Armadillo Pepper. Thanks for watching. You can check us out at armadillopepper.com or see what we're up to over on Facebook.